Hey guys, it's Jeff with voiceapps.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a streaming audio or a podcast uh, skill, Alexa skill, uh, using the voiceapps.com platform. Uh, so let's get started. So first of all, let's uh, click create new project and create a new project. I'm going to call this the podcast demo. Uh, I'm going to choose a category. We'll put it in uh, streaming services. And I'll choose an icon. Um, we'll choose this one. That's a good one. And this is a streaming audio demo will be my description. So here's my uh, new project. I'm just going to click on it to edit it. And that'll bring up uh, my editor. Uh, right now I have, uh, by default, I have three intents. Uh, each of these blocks here is an intent. Um, we're not going to use the uh, help or the goodbye for this demo, so I'll just remove those. And we're left with the welcome intent. The welcome intent is uh, launched or activated uh, when the skill is launched. Okay, so what we want to do is um, start off when the skill is launched, we want to go ahead and automatically play a podcast, an episode of our podcast. So first of all, let's uh, go to the data tab and let's create a variable. We'll call it track and we'll set it equal to one. So the first track we're going to play is a track one. And then uh, let's go ahead and create a new intent. And this will be the actual intent that plays the track. So play track. And we'll give it a description of plays the current track. Okay. And then what we want to do here, again, on the, uh, and actually let's go back to activation. And so this is going to be activated by another intent. Um, and it's only going to be activated uh, by the welcome block. And so that'll connect our, uh, our two blocks here. So when the welcome block is active, um, the play, play track can, can be active. Okay, and so what we wanna do in the welcome block, we set the track equal to one. So in the play track intent, we want to actually play, we want to choose that track and find the URL for it, and then we want to play it. So in order to do that, uh, we're gonna use a feature called look up a value. So in the, on the data, data tab, we're gonna click look up a value. And that brings up the lookup value uh, block for me or function. And I can just type in, and, and what this lookup value block, uh, what this lookup value function does is it takes the value of a variable, in this case track, um, and it looks up that value in the left side of this key value list, and it finds the associated value, and it assigns that to a variable. So what we want to do is take the track, look up a, you know, track number one in this list, find the URL to the actual podcast uh, for that episode, and then we want to assign it to a variable. So let's do that. Um, so I could just type in, um, you know, entries here and type one HTTPS, you know, dot slash dot uh, colon slash slash um, and the, in the path to my URL. And you know that would be tedious. What I can do though is click this little truck icon and I can grab some um, uh, a list of, of values already, uh, the list of podcast values that I've saved here and I can just paste them in here and then click bulk add. And it will automatically assign one, two, three, four uh, for me. And then the uh, URLs are just in here. So all I'm doing is doing a bulk import of my the URLs of my podcast into here. And I have, let's see how many I have, I have 18 of them in here. Uh, so we'll keep that for later. So basically I'm gonna take the track, look up in the left side, um, the and right now track is equal to one. So I'm gonna look up track number one and I'm gonna get the URL, this right side, and I'm gonna assign it to a uh, track URL variable. Okay, and that's it, so now, we want to play that track URL. So what we do over here in the next actions for the play track is we choose uh, play a long audio stream. And the URL that we want to play here, and we use double curly brackets for uh, when we're uh, using a variable, and it, we're going to use track URL that we just set. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to take the track value that we set in the welcome block, track equals to one, 
we're going to take the track value, we're going to look up in the left side of this uh, list, track value 1, we're going to find the right side of this list, the URL in this case, and we're going to assign it to track URL. And then in the next actions, we're actually going to play that URL. Okay, so over here in my welcome block, I need to uh, make the next action execute another intent. And the intent that I want to execute is play track. Okay, so now I can go ahead and test my skill. Let's click the test button to open up my test window. And then I can just click uh, in the box here and hit my enter key to quickly launch my skill. I can also uh, talk and say open uh, podcast demo um, or I can type open podcast demo, but the real shortcut is just to click in the box and hit enter. Welcome to podcast demo. Hello and welcome to the Alexa Dev Chat podcast. My name is Davis Bitsky. I'm an evangelist on the Alexa team and it is my pleasure. Awesome. So that worked. So uh, we were able to just quickly play a podcast and, and that's great if you're just going to play a single feed or a streaming feed that you just want your um, users to be able to, to open the skill and play. In fact, uh, right now it says welcome um, because that's a default. Let's just remove that. Let's get rid of this uh, response group here in the welcome block so that it just goes straight in and plays the, uh, the audio. So that's great if you want to, again, just, just play a, a direct uh, audio stream. But if you have, in our case, we have 18 different podcasts that uh, we want our users to be able to say next or previous and kind of navigate through them. So let's see how we might do that. So let's add a new intent here. And we will call that next. And that'll handle when user says next. And this is going to be activated. We have a special activation called by audio player next. And so what will happen is this intent will be activated whenever the user says next, uh, presses a button on their device, uh, uses their remote, um, and, and, set, and presses next. Uh, any of those things, it'll get activated. This block will get activated now that we've set it uh, by audio player next. And so what we want to do here is we want to change the state. So we want to increment our track variable. So the way we do that is we set track and then we do uh, plus equals, which is an increase, and we want to increase it by one. So we're going to set the track equal uh, to track plus one. And uh, we're going to go ahead and add that. And then what happens when we keep saying next, uh, track's going to keep incrementing. And when we get beyond um, 18, we want to set it back to 1. So we want to set it back to the beginning of the track. So when we get to the end of the, the episodes, we want to go back to the beginning if they say next again. So it kind of loops around to the beginning. So the way we would do that is uh, we would set track equal to 1 when track is greater than 18. So again, we have 18 tracks, so if they say next, it's going to increment track to 19, and then we want to go ahead and set it back to 1. So that's how we do that. And then uh, when we're done here, the next action is we need to play the track again. So we're going to go ahead and execute another intent and we're going to execute our play uh, track intent. And the play track intent, we're going to change the uh, activation so that it's activated uh, by next as well. And that'll draw a line between those two. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for add a new intent. Let's do the same thing uh, for previous. In fact, let's switch these so it makes a little more sense visually. Let's put previous to the left and next to the right. Uh, but let's go ahead and make our previous and this handles when the user says previous. And again, we're going to do the same thing. This is going to be activated by audio player previous. We're going to this time set track and we're going to decrease it by one and add that. And then when we get to the bottom uh, of the, you know, the tracks and we're at track one and they say previous, 
we're gonna uh, reduce it by one again, that's gonna make it zero. But in this case, we wanna make it, set it to 18. So we're gonna say track is equal to 18 um, when track is less than one. And we'll go ahead and add that. And let me switch back to next and make sure that I did that right. So we're gonna make track equal to one when track is greater than 18, awesome. So back over here in the previous, um, our next actions are going to be, again, we wanna play the track now that we've changed um, the track. So we wanna execute another intent and execute our play track intent. And then we'll go back to play track and say that it's activated also by previous. Okay, so let's go ahead and test that out and see how we did. We can clear this dialog. And then we'll, again, click in the box and hit enter to start our, our podcast. Hello, and welcome to the so Alexa great. Dev Chat podcast. podcast. My is, name uh, playing, is Dave so now I'm, just gonna hit I'm next. an evangelist. Hello, and welcome to the Alexa Dev Chat podcast. This is episode two. Awesome. And if I hit next again, should go to episode three. And it does. And then we can hit previous. Hello. Previous. Hello and welcome should be to the Alexa one. Dev Chat Podcast. And let's see if it goes My back around when I hit Vichy. previous again. Yeah. And it looks like it worked. We'll see if this is episode 18. Hello. My name is Alexa. Welcome to the Amazon Alexa Podcast. All right, and that's episode 18. So, uh, and then I can hit stop. So now that we've created our uh, podcast skill, uh, we can easily share it with others. So we can just uh, click the share button, uh, enable our project for sharing, and uh, copy the URL and send it out to our friends and family and coworkers uh, so that they can uh, play with it and test it. And uh, what that does is opens up the uh, test window, uh, just the test window. They can't edit the skill uh, or anything, but they can just uh, play with it in the test window um, and uh, in interact with it there. So they can give us uh, feedback on our skill and let us know what we need to uh, uh, improve or what we did right, and uh, we can go from there. So once we've tested it, um, Voice Apps also allows you to publish it, quickly publish it. So you can actually publish this um, just by clicking this button and clicking deploy skill, you can actually deploy it to uh, your Amazon developer account. Uh, if you don't have one, it only takes a few minutes to create one. And then you can actually deploy it onto your, uh, this will deploy it onto your Alexa device so that you can actually uh, test it there and then submit it for certification. So great. So that's how easy it is to create a, uh, a podcast skill um, uh, or a streaming audio skill in general. Uh, using voice apps. Um, we have some advanced features which include the ability to capture uh, the almost finished um, intent, which means when this particular track is almost finished playing, you can go ahead and queue up um, additional tracks or do other things that uh, you might want to do in your skill. Um, we have those features as well. And again, this, this supports pause and uh, resume and obviously uh, previous and next right out of the box. So you can build this out uh, very quickly. Uh, this only took us a few minutes. Um, and uh, you can build out your uh, podcast or streaming audio skill uh, very quickly using voiceapps.com. So great. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, look for other videos uh, on our YouTube channel or on our website. And uh, we hope to see you at voiceapps.com and see what you build.